Gwen Tennyson is one of the most beloved characters from the Ben 10 franchise. She's smart, determined, and always ready to lend a hand. But how did she get her powers? And how have they evolved throughout the series? Let's find out. Throughout the entire show, Gwen has different sets of skills that can best be grouped into three groups, namely skill-based combat, magical abilities, and thirdly, anodite powers. In the first season, Gwen didn't possess any powers. She was portrayed as a tech-savvy and intelligent young girl who was always ready to lend a hand to her cousin, Ben Tennyson. At a very young age, she acquired a lot of skills that helped her fight such as martial arts, jujutsu, judo, karate, and taekwondo. She used her intelligence, skill, and her athleticism to fight off aliens. However, in the episode Lucky Girl, Gwen discovered a magical charm that gave her incredible luck powers. With the Lucky Girl charm, she had the ability to manipulate probability and make the impossible happen. Her luck powers allowed her to dodge danger, manipulate objects, and even save her cousin Ben's life. How did you pull off this amazing rescue? With style, of course. By the end of the episode, Gwen defeats a villain named Hex, and she gets his charms. She decides to destroy her lucky charm along with those obtained from Hex, opting to just remain her normal self. In Season 2, Gwen's powers evolved even further. In the episode Tough Luck, she discovers another good luck charm called the Keystone of Bezel while at a magic expo, and she ends up buying it without realizing that it was a luck charm. The charm significantly increased her natural abilities to superhuman levels rather than just making her luckier. She then learns to harness the powers of the charm, making her an even more valuable asset to the team. By the end of the episode, her charm loses all its power after defeating Hex again after he tried getting the charm's powers. <sighs> Looks like the magic's gone. And Lucky Girl along with it. Eh, don't be too bummed. There's other ways you can be a hero. Throughout the Ben 10 franchise, Hex and his niece, Charmcaster, are presented as Gwen's main foes. Later on in the third season, Gwen's powers underwent yet another evolution in the episode A Change of Face, when she accidentally swapped places with Charmcaster, an evil sorceress. After the swap, Gwen has to survive in prison and escape using magical charms that belong to Charmcaster that she discovered in her bag. At the end of the episode, Charmcaster is defeated and Gwen ends up getting her spell books. This begins Gwen's journey into learning how to cast spells. Throughout the remainder of the Ben 10 classic series, Gwen uses spells obtained from Charmcaster to fight various bad guys including Ghost Freak after his resurrection. The spells give her plenty of abilities, including control objects, and we also note that as she gets more powerful, she begins to emanate a blue glow around her arms when using her magical powers. Autem Forsen! In the sequel series, Ben 10, Alien Force, Gwen's powers continued to evolve. She learned to tap into her inner energy, which allowed her to perform even more powerful spells and control mana. In the first episode of Alien Force, we get to see Gwen use her recently obtained skills to fight villains and to create mana constructs such as blades, whips, and shields for both offensive and defensive purposes. <laughs> Like them instead of each other. In Season 1, Episode 8, Gwen meets her grandmother for the very first time and learns that her grandmother is actually an alien known as an anodite, a race of energy beings. She also learns that her powers that enable her to control mana are actually part of her heritage and not a result of magic spells. Her grandmother offers to teach her how to harness her full powers, but Gwen refuses after being told that she would have to go away to a special training place for about 70 years for her to achieve the full anodite form. I 
am not going. I love having powers, but I like my life better. I like fighting monsters and saving the world. Anodites help tons of people. Scads! You could use your new powers however you want. After you've mastered them, 60 or 70 years. In the Alien Force Season 2 finale, Gwen loses control and ends up transforming into her anodite form for the very first time. Kevin goes on to tell her to switch back to her human form because Gwen's grandmother had earlier warned about the dangers of using the anodite form without having proper training. In Season 3, Episode 9, we get to see Gwen develop new abilities after facing off with Charmcaster again. Charmcaster returns, and this time she is more powerful than ever before. She ends up getting into a serious fight with Gwen and gets Gwen's powers, but Gwen manages to use her anodite powers to get back her magical abilities, and she ends up defeating Charmcaster using her newly obtained skill of creating dimensional vortexes using magic. No! You can't take the power back! It's impossible! I crushed you! Your problem is that magic is the only thing you're about. But for me, magic is only one aspect of who I am. In Season 3, Episode 15, Gwen gains the ability to travel back in time using spells from a spellbook she stole from Hex, Chamcaster's uncle, who also happens to be a very powerful magician. Odd. I could swear I heard. I told you, Uncle Hex, there's nothing here. In Ultimate Alien Season 2, Episode 5, Gwen can communicate with others through the mana field. This is shown when she called Grandma Verdona while struggling with fighting with her anodite cousin, Sunny. Very clever of you to call me through the mana field. Your powers are developing nicely, considering your lack of formal training. Throughout the prime timeline of the classic continuity, Gwen's powers come from her alien grandmother, Verdona, who is a member of an energy-based alien race known as Anodites. Gwen has a knack for manipulating mana, a form of energy, which allows her to create and control a wide variety of magical constructs and attacks. She can project mana from her hands in waves, beams, and explosive blasts. Gwen can also create mana constructs such as blades, whips, and shields for both offensive and defensive purposes. <laughs> Additionally, Gwen can modify the mana she has already fired out with precision, as well as levitate, communicate telepathically, and erase or scan memories. She can also absorb mana from living things, detect mana signatures to track people and objects, and discern multiple minds inhabiting one body. Overall, Gwen has a wide range of magical abilities that allow her to protect herself and others, attack enemies, and accomplish many different tasks.